Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you a really simple Chucky from Child's Play makeup look. And I've already got my face prepped, so if you want to know what products I used prior to what we're going to do, I'm going to put everything down in the description box. I've already got my foundation and powder on. I've um, primed my eyelids with eyeshadow primer. I've done my eyebrows and I have a coat of mascara on. So that's everything that I've done so far. So we're gonna get this look started right now. I hope it's not too bright guys. I'm sitting in my kitchen in the natural light. This is like the only area where I can really film this. So I apologize if it's a little bright. I'm gonna try my best here. So I've got my two palettes here. What I'm gonna do is I've already prepped my eyelids and I used the Urban Decay Naked Basics. Um, basically, you're gonna have one eye lid done up with makeup and the other one, I just like to leave it natural since you've got so much going on on one side of your face. So what I did was I went ahead and primed my eyelids with the nude color right there. And of course, if your skin tone is different, you wanna prime with whatever is closest to your natural skin color. So the basic looks that you want for your eyelids, because you basically want to look like you have a big bruise around your eye. So I stick with darker purples and maroon colors. So I am using one of my Urban Decay Vice palettes. Um, this is not still available, but I'm sure you, if you have it, you can use it. If you don't have it, you can probably find some colors that are very similar to it, even at the drugstore. I'm gonna start with the color Vanity right here, which is that deeper purple color. I'm gonna go and take a flat eyeshadow brush and just start swiping that across my lids. And I'm just, I'm gonna do the left side of my face, so you can do either the left or right side because one side's gonna have the bruise and the stitches. And as you can see, I am getting a little bit of fallout right here from the eyeshadow. Now, you don't have to do your foundation beforehand, but I like to because we're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna start doing stitches. So you have to have your base pretty much before the makeup. But if you wanna do the top of your eyelid prior to doing your foundation, you can also do that. I just kinda wipe it away with a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna wipe the fallout away with my fluffy brush here. And I honestly, I don't do any bronzer, highlighter, contouring, anything like that for this look. You can if you like. I feel like the more natural look is gonna be what you want for this. You wanna kinda be a little paler if you have like my skin tone, so. But you can do whatever you like. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this maroon color and it is called Alchemy. Is that how you say it? Can you see it right there? And I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on top of that purple. Just gonna tap it on there. And this is gonna give that bruised color illusion. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out a little bit more. Okay, and don't worry if you're getting color inside your eye because you're gonna go all the way around anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna wipe away any fallout here. So I've got my top lid done. Now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and I'm gonna prime underneath my eye because we're gonna go ahead and put eyeshadow under there too. Okay, so we have under the eye primed and I'm gonna go ahead and use the same two colors and just go down and make a bruise. I'm just going up onto the lid again just to make sure that the color is even all around the eye. sure you get your inner eyelid too here. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so our bruise is done. And then I don't go in with anything up here because I've already just got that natural shade on my eyelids that I used from the Naked Basics palette. So that's the basis of my eyeshadow look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take my fluffy brush and then just go and wipe out any fallout there may be, which there is not very much. Okay, so I'm done with the bruise portion. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner real quick and then we'll come back and do the stitches. Alright guys, so I'm back with my eyeliner and my second coat of mascara done. So now we're going to work on doing the stitch look. And I don't usually use my good eyeliner, I like to call it, on like face makeup. So on my eyes, I use my Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner. And then for my face, I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, Cargo Cosmetics black eyeliner that I got in a palette for free. So Chucky has multiple sets of stitches on his face, so I'm going to do four sets of stitches. First, I'm going to do the ones under my eye. So I'm going to focus the stitches mainly on under my eye here, above my eye, across my forehead, and then down my chin. So it's really simple to draw the stitches on. You basically want to draw a line, and then you draw the little stitch lines through. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start pretty much under my eye here, right under the bruise. And just do a simple line like that. And then I'm going to go across Okay, so that's our first set. The next set I'm going to go a little bit across my forehead right here. Third set I'm going to go across my forehead this way. And if you mess up, you can clean up with a Q-tip because your bruise is going to cover up any leftover marks. Alright, and then our last set, it's going to be down our chin. Now this one's a little tougher. Um, I get really hot and sweaty when I'm just doing makeup, hair, things like that. So I would recommend bringing your pencil with you to your party if you're going to a party or whatever so you can touch up the bottom one if it tends to smudge or anything like that. I know the last time I wore this makeup look, it did smudge a little bit, but I touched it up and it was fine. So you're going to want to suck your lips in when you do this. This one right here is a little thicker than I would like, but I'll go ahead and touch that up with a Q-tip real quick. Okay, so we have our stitches drawn on. Now we're going to go ahead and put the eyeshadow over them to make them look bruised. And I'm going to use the same two colors that I used for the eye. Take my flat brush, start off with the purple, just tap it on there gently so you don't mess up the stitches too much. And we are going to go and blend it so don't worry about it looking kind of funny right now. So my camera decided to shut off in the middle of me blending out the the shadows. So I basically went in with my blending brush and just went ahead and blended in on the stitches. And then I did go ahead and use my finger just to smooth out the sides just a little bit more, just to give it that nice even kind of finish for Bruce. Um, but yeah, so this is basically it. If you want to go in and make the stitches a little bit darker after you're done blending in the eyeshadow, you can do that. I personally like it the way it is right now because it gives it more of like a worn, bruised, stitchy look. I don't know how to describe that. But my last step, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I'm just going to set my whole face real quick because you definitely want this to last. Alright, and I'm going to let that dry. And for my um, mascara, I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have a little sample here. But you can certainly use false lashes if you want. You can do anything. I prefer not to use false lashes. I don't like the way they feel. 
but I bet they would look really pretty with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was pretty easy to follow. And like I said, I'm gonna leave all the products I used in the description box. And if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. If you do decide to try this look, please tweet me pictures. I would love to see how it came out. And I'll put my Twitter right here. And it's also in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Also, let me know if you're not going to do Chucky. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be. I'd love to hear it. Tweet me pictures of your costumes. Halloween is my absolute favorite. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please like it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.